What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? Guys, we're talking Season 9, Episode 7, Stradivarius. That does refer to the violin. That's yes, that it is. is. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, well, this is the uh, the penultimate episode before the midseason finale. Mike, what did you think about this bad boy? I mean, I thought it was I thought it was another great episode. Mm-hmm. You know, we have so many questions now surrounding Michonne and Maggie and the beef kind of thing and why she hasn't yeah. been back in so mm-hmm. long. We have we have Jesus who wants to get everybody together with this fair and and just go back to kind of the old days and he's training he's training Aaron. You know, Iron Fist now, and oh, yeah. and Daryl's back to his old ways. You know, away from everybody, the hermit kind of a thing. He's got his camp, he's got his yeah. traps set up. So I, I mean, overall, it was a, it was cool. We didn't see Judith, which you know, I I, I like her character. Well, we didn't see Alexandria at all. Into, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's 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 get into it. What do you think of the Michonne the Michonne stuff and her reluctance of of going to uh the hilltop yeah obviously there's something that went down and like you said you know uh jesus is in charge we find out that maggie is working with georgie out, yeah she's out working with georgie she's got some other community she's got little henry with her yeah yes. uh uh no not henry uh uh herschel sorry Henry's the other kid. <laughs> she's got she's got a little herschel with her and um so obviously something went down or maybe she just doesn't want to go there we don't know if there was it was there a beef i don't know because she they didn't tell her about maggie so you know, yeah, it's, I, it seems like a lot of people are walking on eggshells with, and that, with that, right? With yeah. Michonne and telling her, I mean, because even Sadiq had said, um, you know, we knew or he knew yeah. of Maggie's disappearance or whatever. So, yeah, I think it's just more um, people are maybe nervous to to confront Michonne. Yeah, but that's the that's that's what's kind of interesting to me because remember the last time we saw Michonne and and Maggie together was when Rick went with the explosion on the right. bridge and all that kind of stuff. And obviously Michonne was there and confiding and trying to restrain Michonne yeah. along with uh, I think Carol was there too, Carol, right, holding yeah. her back. So we didn't really we don't know what happened. Yeah, you know we don't know if there was a continued beef if it's a Negan thing, um, and and those exes. With Daryl and Daryl's got and one, Michonne's Michelle. got one. Yeah, we don't know what, so thought, that's, what that's about. That's a little it, mystery we got going yeah. on. But um, it's, it's it's cool overall with Michonne that she finally um, sees that Magna's and everybody's story is kind of panning out. I like they okay, visit so their old group and and go, they see that it was run over and taken over. Yeah, by, let's let's by, jump into that real quick. I like these new people. I like this little group. I really do. I like the actors in the group. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. Mag Magna's Ma- what's her name? Maga Magna. Magna. Magna, right? Like keep liquid sa- hot. Yeah, I keep saying that, but I keep wanting to say Magda for some reason. <laughs> anyway, she's kind of annoying to me. I don't know why. Um, I just, I just, I'm just, I, I'm not into those uh, I'm gruff and tough character. Like I'm, 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 I'm over those characters. But whatever, still good. Yeah. Um, that's just and my they, personal they thing. To, they know how to fight. So that's the thing. I, I just like this group. They've survived. I like that. It's just, I like that. It's a very eclectic group. And yeah, we get, you know, they get their weapons back. They see their friend Bernie. Like a lot of things go down. Uh, like I mentioned, the Stradivarius is a, is a violin that the, he's a, you know, uh, his name is Luke, right? He's, um, he's, you know, that, that part kind of annoyed me though. Wow. You know? He feels like he can bring everybody together by music. And... No, no, not that. That's fine. That's hope. That's fine. What I didn't like was he's like, she's like, turn around. He's like, I can't. Yes, you can. It's a fuck. It's a violin, dude. It's a piece of wood. You can turn around. Like wow. you know, I felt no. Pro- like I was like, good. You deserve to have that thing sliced. It was. Ass. It was a little annoying. I the thought he was cre- I, Yeah, I thought he was creeping or anything. But I, I actually know about Stradivarius is the maker from the 1700s. Right. And he made cello like a cello. Right. right and, yeah. and he. Um, so I remember watching some things about this. So to a music teacher, I can see how. Um, it's like a piece of parchment. It's like the yeah, it's it's like the holy grail. It's, it's the holy like, grail. Yeah. So I, I get see, it. But I, I I get what you're saying. But, but then why cool not? See. But you gotta say. What, but you know, sorry. But you gotta be like, okay, hold on, one second. Just you know, don't overreact here. It's nothing crazy. Like say something. Don't be like, yeah. I can't. Like that's not. I hate that writing. I just hate those. Yeah. Why do you say dumb things? I mean, you, why? Because you need that to happen whatever but then it was like whatever anyway yeah. point is that was just that was just one part it's fine i like I where the they story. are i liked i liked his story about like the um 
the difference between hum- humans and Neanderthals and stuff. Where he talks about how it was the music and all this kind of stuff. And it's having, nice, man. Right? You know, it was kind of it was kind of cool. It's nice how, to have that history. It's nice yeah. to have somebody speak about history like that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I but it was it. cool overall to see their the the slingshot stuff with Kelly and Connie and yeah, good stuff. And 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 Connie's sense of like awareness that we saw ha- mm-hmm. uh, um, her question a couple times when when she thought she heard things in the woods or she did hear someone in the woods. But well, it's just cool she to didn't really hear them, Mike. She, well, sense she sensed them. them. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but it's it's just cool how even someone with those kind of like disabilities and things like that, they there's there's still um, something to it. And well, there's it something that they sense bring of, to the table. Yeah, it brings a you cool know, sense. That they're not worthless in any kind of way, and so it, and it's different. But um, so that was good yeah. stuff. I, I I enjoy I enjoy those things. Um, they they did they make it to the hilltop. Um, yeah. and then so does Daryl and Henry yeah. and Carol. But let's talk about that real quick. Daryl, you know, has a talk with Carol and says, I, "We never found the body." I, he he still believes he's out there. You know, he's, he's been looking. It's six years, and, and you know, it made sense. He says, I, "It just got easier to be out here. The longer yeah. I looked, it just got easier." Yeah, that's fine. I I absolutely yeah. accept that. I like that he's got dog. I like he calls it dog. I like the dog is like trained. The traps were crazy. That whole scene. I actually my favorite part of the whole episode was that stuff. You know. The character of Henry is kind of annoying to me, okay? But I think he's played really well by this kid. He's not that annoying. Like, he is, like, a little, like, headstrong and a little hot-headed. But at the same time, he's also – he does have a little – he does have heart, and he does listen, you know, even though he is still like, oh, why can't I go? And that's fine, yeah. whatever. I still like him. I think he's a cool character. I think, I think you know, we have it. I like how when he got in there, he's like, hey, you think Enid's – remembers me because i was small the last time she saw yeah, me and now yeah, i'm yeah. tall you know and so um i liked i liked that whole scene especially the scene where where the walkers where the dog is trapped like it was it was a really good scene you know yeah well it's 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 kind of cool in a way to see daryl back to his old ways and his mm-hmm. traps and his yeah. and his uh you know trapping trapping for uh for food which he even says it's not really for the food i trap it for the walkers and i don't know exactly how um it was it was interesting with with dog how he's, he's explaining to Henry how I dog goes out all the time. It's kind of weird how he got caught in the trap that's never happened before. So I'm kind of wondering what that means. It, it, was it the mm. whispers? Do they purposely trap the dog in some kind of way? Um, so it's 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 something that yeah, we'll okay, eventually yeah. eventually learn. But yeah, when you're talking about Henry, which is I'm not sure. I'm sure you well you might know Henry. Uh, now, older Henry is brothers with younger Henry, and they're also siblings with with um, Carol's daughter uh, from the first second season. What was her name? Uh, 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 oh, uh, you mean uh, in real life? Yeah, in real life, they're all brothers and sisters. Oh, for real, the actors. Oh, so that's young cool. young Henry is brothers with older Henry now, and they were also their brothers Sophia's, to Sophia's Sophia. Brothers. She was on Talking Dead. If you get some time or whatever, and you have, I have, check I have it's kinda, to watch. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, back back to the basics with Daryl. It's kind of cool. Obviously, it. Carol gets to him, uh, and and those words sink in, and he follows the the rest of the the group to to Hilltop, which is which is cool. Yeah. So I like seeing everybody together like yeah. that. Yeah, you know. And then as far as Hilltop's concerned, you know, Jesus is. I I liked how. Jesus is reluctant and you know Tara is basically like running things and he just doesn't yeah. want to deal with it and he won't take Maggie's office like you know I'm going to say it again I I wasn't sure if these characters without Rick could hold their own because they are strong characters they are great actors yeah. but I just didn't fe- I didn't know now, I won't say I didn't yeah. feel I just didn't know if it was a show without Rick because even I mean they always had scenes without Rick. It's, I don't understand what my reasoning behind it was. But you know what? Obviously, that, look, that's my fault. That's on me. You know, I admit that. Um, yeah. yeah, of course. These are great actors. These are great characters. These are great actors, and 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 I like it. I'm I'm I really do like where it is. It's not as crazy now as it yeah. was with Fighting Negan and all this stuff, and we've had for the last you know three seasons, but. It's got its own pacing. It's got its own thing. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really actually enjoying it, and I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Oh yeah. Um, you know, it's called Evolution, and 
it's I just think it's an I just think it's funny how they think that they're evolving when you know we know what the real thing is for people who don't like for people who don't know the comics or don't understand what the whispers are like for them I can imagine it's pretty cool like oh my god what is that you know yeah even you know we my my wife and I are watching and she's like wait what did they just talk what the hell and I had to be <laughs> I had to explain you know like no 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 yeah. this is what they are so I I like it man I think it's cool I think it's very cool um yeah I mean Jesus. I, I, I want to go back real quick. I love that Jesus is teaching Aaron how to fight. I, you know, I really like the character of Alan. Uh, Alan. Aaron. Like, <laughs> I, I really like him. Uh, he was kind of a throwaway character for me on the yeah, show right? back in the day. And then he's, he's he's become a staple. And I love the character. I mean, I love the actor. Um, he's he's amazing, especially when you see him do all his impressions, right? Yeah, uh, go check him out on YouTube. He, he does so many impressions of, of like you know everybody, all the other act, of many actors. Anyway, he's fun. He's cool. I like that they were training him. I like to see Jesus more because Jesus is a really interesting, cool character that yeah. we don't get to see a lot of. And um, yeah. you know, I'm looking for especially the fight in the fog coming up in next episode. That looks badass. Mm. That's something I yeah. don't think they've ever done. It yeah. looks it looks yeah. a lot. It looks it's very reminiscent of something from Badlands. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking forward to it, man. I enjoyed it. Um, the very last thing too is, you know, uh, um, Rosita. You know, yeah. we, we pick her up in the beginning, and we don't know where Eugene is. Apparently, Eugene is is stuck in a shed somewhere. Yeah, he's hiding out, and they got separated. It was some it was some really cool shots in that opening too. Mm-hmm. Um, they were talking about because uh, I'm sorry for not remembering his his real name, but Abraham, the actor who played Abraham, was the one who directed this episode. Oh, he, uh, Cutlets? Yeah, yeah, Michael Cutlets. So he directed this episode. Did he really? So, yeah, it was his first, uh, his debut directing. Wow. And it was in the works for a while. So uh, it, it's cool stuff. But he, he spoke awesome. about that opening scene, how he wanted to be with the whispering and the voices and, and Rosita kind of tripping out. She wanted it to be more like like that Blair Witch kind yeah, of feel yeah, 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 with yeah. the camera shutter and and the shaky cameras and all yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah. So I, I thought it was a cool, uh, yeah, I thought it was a cool opening. So it's a credit to Michael Collins. That's cool for him. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, because obviously at the end, Daryl and G Je- and what was it? Daryl, Jesus, and Aaron go out looking for dog, and the for, dog just takes and, off. And, and the dog just takes I love off. Love it. Right? I love. I, I love companions. Like I yeah. love animal companions. Whenever we play, and unless they get hurt. Unless they get hurt. But whenever I play a game that that you can have that any RPG, I'm always the dude that has the stupid companion. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I just I can't take get enough of it. So I'm, yeah. I'm, no, so it's it, it's definitely cool stuff. I mean, I going back to what you said about how life after Rick on the show. Um, I think it's been great, just like you. I'm in agreement with you. Um, it's cool to see these these characters, and and they're they're making a mystery around it with the Michonne stuff and the X stuff, the scars on. Both but, it's but it's not it's annoying. But it's not. It's not annoying. It's not annoying. That's Give that's the biggest part. Questions about me. what's going on. Yeah, just you if know? you're gonna do that stuff, just don't make it annoying. Don't make it so ambiguous that you can't. Yeah. try and figure it out you know what i mean yeah. so i like yeah, it no so we'll get i mean we'll get a lot uh yeah. we'll get a lot and i think this next episode is gonna be great this this mid-season yeah. uh finale yeah and uh like you know uh i i can't really agree with you more um cool. with what you had with what you said so all right good uh, stuff man let's yeah. i guess that'll that'll do it guys uh thank you again for watching of uh course. mikey uh do the end thing <laughs> the end thing is, of course, uh, right in the comments section below on the YouTube video that you're watching now. You can also have uh, take a look at us on Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter. And you can have a listen to this also on iTunes at Third Person Pod. That's right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And also, I'd like to invite you to check out our Badlands video stuff if you haven't yes. already. We've got some really awesome interviews with actors, directors, producers. Uh, soon we're going to have um, uh, writers and, and hopefully the creators on soon. And, you know, uh, we've also got a, uh, an Into the Badlands trivia show on there that some of those yes. same, very same people were, uh, you know, contestants on and uh, a community member there. And uh, if you guys want to be on that show, by all means, contact there. So go check out Into the Badlands stuff. It's, it's, it's the other half of this channel right now, and it's, and it's really fun stuff. So that's going to do it. Yep. Thank you very much, guys. Until this uh, mid-season finale, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Good night. Peace.